first we're going to open up Fonto. All right, so you're going to hit the camera and hit plain image. You're going to use a black background. I'm just making it a little bit darker. Then use. Then you're going to type in whatever you want. I just have this one saved on here. If you want me to make a video on how to save a text like that, I will show you. Just let me know in the comments. All right, now I'm going to be saving the image. And next, I'm going to be going to QCut Pro into a project that I already have randomly made, even though it's actually an edit. Now I'm looking for the photo that I saved earlier in Fonto. All right, now I'm going to drag it over and mess with the duration and best time how long I want it in the video. Okay, so now I'm going to go to these three little dots and go to Exposure 70. As you can see, they are highlighted in blue right now. All right, now you're gonna to go to the little sun and I like to keep it about 95 to 99 in my transparency, depending on how transparent you want your text. All right, and that method is now complete. On to method two. You will only need QCut Pro for this method. Here I have a random photo of Chandler, because you know, why not? Then I'm gonna hit, hit the plus and hit text. Now I'm just going to write out example. All right, I'm going to simply change the color, that way the transparency looks a bit better. Now you're going to hit the sun again, and um, I would go roughly about probably 67. You can mess with it and see what you like. I pretty much chose 67, I think that looks the best. And now as long as you want, like you put the duration as long as you want and then you're done. Anyway guys, I hope these methods help you and thanks for watching.